Hello, my name is Madison Machalski. Today I'm going to tell you about Class Dojo and how to use it. Thanks for watching. You might be wondering, what is Class Dojo? Well, I'm going to tell you about it. Class Dojo is a useful classroom management tool. It allows for easy communication between teachers, parents, and students. Class Dojo is commonly used for tracking behavior of students. You can reward positive behavior and note negative behavior. Class Dojo provides teachers with a toolkit with multiple functions. A few examples are sending prompts, giving directions, and randomly selecting students. The tool is versatile among parents, teachers, and students. Each party needs an account. They must select who they are, meaning teacher, student, or parent. The students and parents must have an access code to register, which is given by the teacher and easy for the teacher to obtain. You can access this program through the internet or as an app on your mobile device or tablet. Today, I'm going to be showing you about the online version and how to use it. This is Class Dojo. So the first thing is if you don't have an account, you can sign up. It's easy to do. You need an email and you can sign up as a teacher, parent, or student. Today, I'm going to be showing you from the teacher perspective. So I already have an account. I'm just going to click on Welcome Back, Madison. Come on in. This is my profile. And then if I wanted to add a class, all I would do is press Add Class. And this is how you get started. And you add your school, you title your class, and you put all of your students into your class. And this is where you're given your access code to give to each of your students. And that has their parents' access code as well as theirs. So I'm going to enter my class that I have created. My class has each of my students in here. And so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take attendance. And as you notice, each of these kids have a different monster. And they can actually customize their monster if they want when they get their account. But here's how you take attendance. So you click the attendance button. Each class has, or each kid has a monster. And so we're going to say that Kyla is absent today. So you just click the monster one time. And we'll say that Sam is absent. So click on her too. That shows you that they're absent. Next, let's say Bailey is late today. And so you can actually mark that by clicking twice. And that shows up as a little yellow guy with this little shadow that states that she was late. Now, Indy had to leave early for a doctor's appointment. So you can actually mark that as well. You just click this button three times and then it shows up as a yellow and green mark stating that she left. So that's my attendance for the day. I'm going to click save attendance. Now you notice that my two students who are absent, they're not they're not present. You can see that they don't have color. And then Indy, who left early, she is also the same way. So now that we've given attendance, I'm going to show you how the behavior works. Let's say that Brandon was helping Sydney with her math. And I noticed that, and I was like, that's a good job. I'm, that's, that deserves a reward. So I would click on Brandon's monster. And up comes all these different act actions that they could have done. You can actually add your own skills <clears throat> or just click on one of these. So Brandon was helping Sydney with her math, so he gets a crown. And you hear that sound. That sound signifies a dojo point. I've read from other teachers that dojo points get their kids excited when they hear that sound. So I'm sure those kids would be excited. So I'm just going to go ahead and give a couple people some points here and you can hear this sound. Well, as you see, this whole class spot is getting more points in 
this is really beneficial because you can do rewards. Like I've seen in elementary school classes where when the whole class gets so many points, they will have extra recess or a party, something to reward them for good behavior. I've also seen this used in middle schools and they said that this really motivated the kids who had bad behavior because they were excited when they got more points. Also, for high school, this is good because let's say that Alex was participating and he, you have to get so many participation points. So I'm adding a new thing. So Alex talked during discussion. So he gets a point. And so I mark that he talked during discussion. Um, Right now, I'll mark he talked during discussion. This shows that for high school students, that they need points. They have to get so many participation points for the week, the semester, however you want to decide to do that. And they can have this app on their phone to see how many they have to track where they're at. You don't have to have the sound go off for high school students if you don't want to, but this is an easy way to track participation points. Okay, so now we're going to say that David was being disruptive in class, and you need to give him minus points. So you click on his monster, and then there's this positive section, but there's also this needs work. So you click on needs work, and he was being disruptive. Now, these are all things that you have to decide on your own what you're giving them for. So I decided that he's being disruptive, so I gave that. You heard that sound. I'll do it again. We'll give Colin a negative one so you can hear the sound. This sound is something that the kids don't enjoy hearing. A teacher said that her class gets sad for the classmates when everybody doesn't get a point or one's taken away. So that's how the behavior works. And these don't go away, but you can actually clear them by clicking reset bubbles and I'm just gonna like you can click all of them or I'm just gonna take away Michael's and you can do that for your class some teachers set limits on points so that other kids don't have 150 and one kid has five so it's not a comparison game there's a limit next we're gonna look at the toolkit the toolkit has various items that you can use you can do a timer you can do random, you can make directions, you can think, pair, share, you can make a group. And this group is really easy to use because you don't have to select the group. And you can also put, I don't want to group these two students together. And so you select your group and those students won't be together. And so obviously you're going to have to have a group of five here. But these tools are really simple to use. You can play music and have music playing. For your class it's music that you don't have to worry about being bad language it's just there and you can write announcements like good morning welcome to school today and display that and that can your students can come to that so there's various things you can do with that next I'm going to show you that students can submit work so assignments like today we are going to draw your favorite thing to do outside so i have pending posts and Paige has submitted a thing and she said her favorite thing to do on the playground is playing outside so i'll scroll down to her profile and that will be there along with other activities Paige has completed it's also convenient for messaging parents I have an example of a friend who, or a parent whose daughter is sick. So she messaged me and said that. And then I replied and said, yeah, like, there is stuff you can do. Here's what you can do with my with your daughter while she's sick. And so Class Dojo just has so many functional things that you can use to promote educational growth in your child. 
this is beneficial for parents, teachers, and students. Lastly, I just want to say that um, I narrated this, so I want to give credit to Class Dojo, and I have their website here, as well as the blog, Edutopia, that I found some different things from Lisa Mims, and I used screen Screencast-O-Matic to record this. Thank you.